Hey, what's going on guys? I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but uh, I just got out of Bound for Glory. Uh, I'm actually still in front of the uh, SDSU campus. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, first of all, just about the exp the whole weekend. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I didn't end up going to the uh, fan interaction nor the uh, Hall of Fame. I'm especially glad I didn't go to the Hall of Fame. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, just run down the quick the show real quick. Um, what did the show open up with? The, ulti the, ul the Ultimate X match. I was uh, uh, distracted quite a bit of the time just because, uh, you know, Belva was in front of me. Um, she's a bitch, but still hot. Um, it was very underwhelming. Um, I, I, I don't recall a, like a big spot uh, in the match. I really don't. Um, I think the fans were trying to get into it more than they they were but they just weren't being given that from the the guys in the ring to uh, feed off of the finish came kind of uh, out of nowhere I mean I, I saw uh, I was staring at Velvet again and then I saw Sabin you know telling her to, to kinda of go in there and help him out she didn't want to so I, I saw it coming but at the same time I was like if they are gonna do this Asked to fail once, and maybe they'll get it again later in the match. But no, he, Saban wins by distraction. Crowd was just kind of like, uh, okay, that match kind of ended too quickly. Um, it was just kind of like, whatever. I mean, the guys in the ring that, that lost were kind of like, what the fuck? That's kind of how I felt. I was just kind of like, very, very underwhelming Ultimate X match. One of the weaker ones, especially in recent, recent memory. Um, after that, we had the tag team match, which... To no surprise, Bromance won. And yes, I skipped the pre-show because I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, to no surprise, Bromance won. No surprise uh, just because uh, Hernandez has a big mouth. He got drunk. He told Steve the outcome of this match. And Breach told me before the show started. And yeah, so finish was uh, pretty uh, expected. Well, for me, just because, again, I, just, I knew it. Um, the match actually was pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. Um... I don't know, I just, I thought that Storm and uh, Gunner did a good job of carrying those two other guys, those two Nimrods, uh, to a, an acceptable match. So, that was actually surprisingly decent. Um, next, uh, what did we have? Mm, I think we had the Knockouts match, the Triple Threat. This is when I want to go get a hot dog, I really didn't really care about it. Some chick came out. Now she's with Gail Kim. I know everyone's gonna say they're they're taking the uh, AJ Lee and Tamin, Tamina uh, thing, and they're doing that in TNA. T WWE does a lot of shit TNA does, so keep your fanboy shit out of here. Um, but the, the match, I'm not defending the match. The match is like whatever. There was a cool spot in it though when uh, ODB had uh, Gail Kim and Tess Mocker, Brooke, whatever, uh, both on top of her uh, shoulders. That was awesome. Uh, freakish, freakish strength from that woman. Uh, and I'm gonna have to put the windows down here because it's getting hot. Um, what was next? Oh, the uh, Kurt Angle Robert Roode match. Oh, and actually, I don't remember if the Kurt Angle Sting segment came out after or before the 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 knockouts match. But uh, yeah, what a waste the Hall of Fame was. As if people already didn't take it serious, they turned the Hall of Fame into a storyline. This is like something. Vince Russo would do. It's just absurd. It's you know, <laughs> the one thing I was looking to do maybe is just I really wanted to see uh, Angle in the Hall of Fame, not because the Hall of Fame is like this big prestigious thing, but because I just I wanted to see a speech. One day he's gonna go in the WWE Hall of Fame. I I truly believe that. Even though him and Triple H have heat with each other, uh, I think he'll be there one day. Um, but I just I kind of wanted you know a speech from him. I heard that last night's speech was two minutes, which, again, thank God I didn't go to that. And then tonight they made a mockery out of it, but making it into a storyline. He re refuses to go into the Hall of Fame until he feels worthy of it. The one good thing I could say is that at least TNA's Hall of Fame is only elite people, I guess if you say, if you will, will go in there. Not like uh, another Hall of Fame where they just pretty much put anyone in there. Um, but yeah, still, what a mockery of this, whatever. Um, I'm going out of order here, I know I am, but whatever. Uh, Kurt Angle and... 
Actually, and then they had that segment where Abyss came back. It was it was cool. Nothing nothing more to say to that. Uh, Kurting on Rob on uh, Robert Roode. The match was getting pretty damn good. Um, it still I think it was it didn't deliver as much as I would, thought I would. I know people were skeptical about this match because of the match that a few years ago, but I still thought this was going to be a, a very solid match, which it was getting there and then it ended. Uh, again, very um, I don't know. It was. I don't know what the hell did they do with that finish. I think they're going to do the storyline where Kurt Angle's like, maybe they're teasing where Kurt Angle maybe shouldn't wrestle because he's not physically there, but he's insisting on wrestling. I don't know. It's whatever. It could be like the Triple H thing where uh, he had the, um, I don't know what it was. a uh, No, it wasn't a seizure. I forgot what they said, but where he fainted on Raw and then they went nowhere with that because he squashed that. They'll probably do that with Kurt. Um... Sting and Magnus, again, this match, like, the, I don't know where the finish is so anticlimactic. I, I couldn't get into this. Uh, that's it. I, I don't know. I know people want Sting to just go to WWE and face Taker at Mania. If he is, first of all, I don't know how he can. I, I think his, his contract ends in February, January. I don't know, but if he's going to do that, the dude needs to get in the gym and Work work on his cardio because if anything, he doesn't have to look like a million a million bucks. But if he can just hang in there with cardio, I think him and Taker can pull off a match. His condition right now, it would be like that that match with Taker. Uh, if if Sting has a match with Taker, the, the condition is he, that he is he's in right now, which is showed tonight at Bound for Glory. It would not be a very good match. The stare down would be pretty sweet, but the match not so good. Uh, I do like the fact, though, just to kick in some positivity in here, uh, they they gave Magnus a clean win, no bullshit, you know, like, not even lucky where, like, he rolled him up and kind of just got the cheap win. He, he made Sting tap to the clove relief, so... And I like the story that they were, ta they were telling in the ring where he was stealing, stealing a lot of uh, Sting's moves, so that was pretty cool. Um, what other match did we have... Yeah, I don't even remember. That's sad. I don't remember what else was on this show. Oh, yeah. Ethan Carter. Enough said. Um, I think that was it, actually. The main event. The main event was actually pretty good. Uh, not main event material. Not, main, not Bound for Glory. Big show of the year main event material. But it was good. Um, I don't know, it's just, again, under-delivered. This, that was the theme of this whole show. I don't even want to really want to review it anymore. I didn't leave mad, I didn't leave upset or with this bad taste in my mouth, but I did leave where I was just kind of like, come on, I feel like they didn't try their hardest. Both in the ring, well, I don't even know if I want to, that's kind of messed up to, to, to take a shot at the wrestlers, but I don't know, maybe it was just time constraints, I don't know, but ugh, this show just, ugh, thank God. I mean, I spent like 130 bucks on my ticket, wasn't half worth it, but still, I'm glad I didn't spend more, um, yeah, and I wore this shirt, um, because I, I don't know, this could very well be the last TNA show that I go, but it's funny because leaving that show, I thought that was some Russo-style booking, and, uh, yeah, I was bound for glory underwhelming.